unemployment was um, is the theme of the Africa Economic Outlook this year, and uh, the, it sort of came as a, as an obvious and natural theme uh, following the Arab Spring uh, in in 2011, where youth employment uh, was really identified as one of the the, the key issue fueling um, the the various revolutions in Tunisia, uh, Egypt, and, and 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 elsewhere, and and the Arab Spring has really created a, a shock wave. Uh, and the continent um, beyond uh, North Africa and the Middle East, and, and really has um, has sort of awakened all of us, uh, including in Sub-Saharan Africa, to, to the problem uh, of inclusive growth. So while um, Africa has uh, moved a long way and is a completely different Africa today from 10 years ago, as Steve was saying, uh, um, economic growth is is is, is very high. But at the same time, this growth is not inclusive. And one of the symptoms is, is really high levels of youth employment. Uh, and it's, it's really, um, uh, it's really under, undermining uh, further progress, uh, both in terms of social cohesion, uh, governance, and, and further uh, uh, economic development, because this growth is fueled by natural resources. So what the report says is that what we find is, is almost systematically young people are more unemployed than, um, than uh, uh, older generations. So we, we systematically find a gap in, in employment. Um, and that education doesn't necessarily protect from unemployment because we find higher levels uh, of unemployment among educated youth than non-educated mm -hmm. youth. And that is throughout the continent. It's not only uh, a North Africa story. And in fact, Africa is facing what we call a double trouble in the sense that we have both high levels of unemployment among young people, but, and that, but also um, high, high levels of underemployment in which young people work in low-paying, low-productivity jobs. Mm -hmm.